A Tampa family attacked outside of their home by a swarm of yellow jackets, hundreds of them covering the husband, wife and their eight year old son. Well, tonight they're out of the hospital and they're talking to ABC Action News reporter Darren Botello. We just ran and ran and ran until they finally decided to, decided to leave us alone. A swarm of yellow jackets disturbed by a falling palm frond attacked Luis Figueroa and his family on the way to church. Then when the fire captain came, you know, and rescue came, the fire captain walked this way. He came back to me, he says, you guys are lucky to be alive. You've got over 10,000 beasts on top of your car. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Uh, there were hundreds on my truck two days later when I pulled up. So uh, once they're disturbed and, and that nest is opened up, it's on. That's when Connor Keller and Insect IQ respond all year round to Yellow Jacket calls. They're the ones called since the nest was originally on Hillsborough County property. A uh, Yellow Jacket tornado ensued and there was just thousands and thousands of Yellow Jackets. The one just stung me. A huge tornado of Yellow Jackets uh, is pretty intense. Keller neutralized the threat and tells others to remember this if they're attacked, get inside and jumping into water won't won't get them to go away. Of course, being overly careful is key, but Keller had this hat while we went out to see him in Pinellas County today. That family did not have this hat when they were attacked on Saturday. It is a very scary situation. That's all I can say, you know, it's just something that uh, I don't want to go through again. In Tampa, Darren Botello, ABC Action News.